Well, hello. So welcome to my DIY today and make sure you subscribe and like and give thumbs up. And today we're going to make seven layer bean dip. And this is great for Father's Day. They love this dip. So let's get started. First, you'll need a glass pan so you can see all the good stuff in there. Need a can of refried beans, can of olives, sour cream, one cup, two tomatoes, two green onions, three avocados, and I'm also going, oh, and cheese. And I'm also going to add some salsa. This is what my sister made, so I'm going to use that. And taco seasoning. Okay, so let's get started with the first layer. Okay, dig your beans out. Get those put in there. And a half a cup of the salsa. Mix that up. Okay, that's all mixed in there. Now pour it into your glass pan. This is layer number one. Oh no. Spread it around. Hmm, doesn't that look good? And just use whatever salt so you like. Since I have the homemade, that's the one I want. Okay. Layer number two. Layer number two is the avocados. So I'll peel those and mash them up. Just scoop it out. Okay, smash those up. This is gonna be your guacamole. It's taking forever. Potato masher, there we go. I don't know why I thought a fork would work. Okay, now let's put in some juice of a lime. Have a lime here. I got a juicer here. There we go. And pour that in there. Some garlic salt. Not too much. I don't want it too salty. Probably a fourth a teaspoon. Okay, smush those up in there. We'll put that on the seven layer dip. Okay, let's add that to the to the bean dip. Just put kind of dab it around. Let's see if we can spread it without it mixing with the bean. It all gets mixed in your stomach anyway, but. That's layer number two. The avocados, lime, garlic salt. There we did it. Okay. Next, layer number three, the sour cream. Now we need one cup of sour cream. And we're gonna do a half a package of taco seasoning. Taco seasoning mix and half a cup of mayonnaise. There we go. Stir that in. This is layer number three. Okay, let's put this on. this on not making too big of a mess here huh this should spread a little easier than the avocado stuff I'll spread that around and get that oh, all the edges okay next layer is the cheese and I just sprinkle it on here a couple of cups, I suppose. I really like the cheese. 
So I'll just cover that very liberally. Okay, that's layer number, what are we on for? Layer number four, a couple of cups of cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there we go. Layer number five is a can of olives, and these are not halved yet, so let's do that. Pour the olives on a plate. There we go. And then put a plate on top, and we're just going to slide a knife, a knife through, a knife through, and then that will cut them. Okay, here goes. And that halved all of your olives for you. See that? Easy cheesy. Okay, put those olives on there. It looks like I missed a few olives, so I'm gonna have to cut those. You can either cut them or eat them, the ones that didn't, the ones that didn't get cut. Okay, put those olives on there. And there's one. There's one. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I shouldn't eat them all. There you go. Okay, next we need two tomatoes. So cut those in fourths. Wash them off and cut them in fours. And we don't want the juicy part. Makes it too runny. So take the seeds out and leave just the meat part. And I will freeze these and use them for my spaghetti. So I'm not throwing them away. Because you don't want your dip dippy. <laughs> you don't want your dip runny. So just take the seeds out of your tomatoes. Okay. Oh, there's one more. Okay. And then just cut them up really little. like so. I've got those diced. So let's put those on our salsa. Start to look pretty pretty, huh? Layer number six. And they're not juicy at all because I just used the meat of the tomato. Okay. Spread it around a little. Okay. Layer number seven two onions. Let's cut those up. Also, if you want those un um, olives smaller, use a chopper rubber thinger. Okay, so we'll cut the root part off of these onions. And let's go ahead and chop these up. onions on top of here. Looks pretty, huh? I think we'll get Papa O down here to test this out. Okay, look how pretty that looks. Now we'll get down to the layers. You can see the bean, the cheese, the salsa, all that stuff. So let's go get Papa O to test it now. Go and get you a bag of chips. Corn chips, doesn't matter what kind, just something big to dip. Okay, get the chips in a pan and then put them by your dip and they can go at it. And here comes Papa O. He says, come taste the chip, the dip. And he said, okay. <laughs> taste the dip. <laughs> taste, did I say face? Taste the Ooh, dip. that looks good. This is the seven layer <coughs> bean dip that you like so much. <laughs> you got seven layers. Yeah, there. seven layers. Grab a chipper, do. Dip it in there, all seven layers. 
All the way down to the bean. Can't get down there. Can't get down there. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> you got to say for yourself. <laughs> okay, it passes inspection. We should make this more often. We should. I I'll think. get down the bean. Well, um, get a spoon. The best way is to get a spoon and with the spoon put it on your chip. Let's try that. Because the spoon won't break. There you have it. Seven layer chip dip. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And good night, everybody, while we <coughs> eat chipper dues. Okay, just a minute. Oh, just a minute. Uh, okay, get a spoon. I was suggested that I do it this because when you're trying to get to the bottom. So. Okay, get a what, spoon. What's the beans? Very bottom. Don't mess it up. Keep it pretty. <laughs> I guess Hello. that's impossible. Okay. Get all the way down the bottom. Uh, I did. Okay. Okay, good job. Now try it. <laughs> wow, that's a big mm. fry. My goodness. See, perfect for Father's Day. They'll, they'll be eating it and they can't talk. So that's a perfect Father's Day. <laughs> Is it for Father's Day? Uh-huh. Yeah, you can make it any time, but thought the dads will like this. I love it. Signing off. Oh, and when I asked that, was I on live? You are on live, yes. <laughs> thanks for watching my DIY. Make sure you thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And thanks, and goodbye.